because Lynn was talking about, uh, and you know, and she said to me, she left me a little email. You know, I'd sing along with you, Sandy, but to be really honest with you, I, I'm not. I don't sing harmony. I don't even sing harmony because I'm. I always play by myself. You know, yeah. he's going to play the melody. Well, I do that too. Yeah. I wouldn't even know how to approach harmony. Yeah, it's a, it's a, okay. it's, it's a whole new skill or a whole another, another skill and um, technique and everything else. Okay. You know, in a nutshell, it's. If you're, if we're playing a song like um, "Teach Your Children," that's what I might consider the melody. That's what I would sing if I was going to sing it by myself. Now I would sing it an octave lower than that. I start on the F sharp. You who are on the road must have a code. That you can't live by. Right? Now, I don't know if that's a good key for you to sing it, but sing that. Oh, okay. No, actually, uh, the, the other thing about it that Lynn said that is true is that all my voice will head right to whatever somebody else is singing. It, if you're singing melody, I'm going to sing melody. Cause right. I, you know what I mean? You'd have to have earplugs in and make it where you couldn't hear the person. Yeah, that that's that's one of the skills that you have to have to, to be able to sing harmony. Well, actually, you need to hear them and you need to be able to sing a different note. Okay. Okay. <laughs> if you block them out completely, <laughs> you guys could be a little out of tune and you wouldn't know, yeah. you know or you wouldn't. Yeah. So there's a, and this is the same with like playing duets. Like when we played Windy and Warm together, if I if I play the same thing as you, right. it's one it's one thing. But if you if I'm doing something else, like a different a different part. Um, like I've got a couple of cool classical duets that I used to play with John Dimmick, for example, where one guitar is doing something like this. And another one's doing... Or something, something like yeah. that. And, um, you know, hearing two different things going on where you're doing one of them can be at first really confusing, you know, because right. you're not sure if you're doing the right thing or whatever. And you have to find a good balance. And when I'm doing this with a student and it's like the first time they've tried something like that, um, what I tell them is you just have to tune me out completely first and really get focused on what you're playing. This is going to be the same thing if you're singing. Right. You know, as you get more experienced at it, you really need to try to listen to the two of us and don't let the other one distract you to make sure that we're even like staying together, you know. Right. Now, if I'm, as, as a teacher, if I'm doing that with a student, you know, I, I'll make sure we stay together and if they slow down a little bit, I'll slow down or something else like that. But if you have two people that are still at the stage where they have to tune out the other person and then they have to try to play together, it, it's, right. it can get out of control. So, you know, so you really need to practice duets and get used to that mindset. And singing harmony is really the same thing. So, um, so if you were gonna sing, sing the beginning of Teach Your Children. Find that note. Oh, wait. There you did, okay, now, now. So you just, the first so thing went, you did was you sang the note you heard me play. Right. Then you realized that wasn't the note it started on. Right. You know, because I just hit the D in the bass. And, and then, because the chord is D, right. you know? And so when I played that D chord, boom, the first thing you did was hit the note D. Okay, but then now you now you just sang the, the right first note because okay. now in this case it turns out that it's the highest note too, so it makes it easier to hear. Okay? So that's the note you're singing, right? right? Okay, so sing that line, you who are on the road.